The first thing I did was settle on a cooler. Now the Titan Deep Freeze has a little uh, storage area in the front here that's not really behind any of the insulation. You've got this uh, storage area right here, which has insulation in it, but it's actually insulated on both sides. So I'm not sure if uh, you're gonna get any coolness in there. It's got uh, a strap here on the side for little bits and bobs and same thing goes on the other side. Now, instead of just saying it has Velcro, they say it has zipperless cold lock but like i said it's just velcro and then it just pops open so i i, I don't know does that work uh, better than a zipper it's probably just personal preference i like how far this dish goes in and uh it's a pretty tight seal so it's it's probably going to be fine you open it up and you get this nice orange interior and you get this little tray that sits down on top of this lip now this is where it gets interesting the yeti four pound ice block fits perfectly in this thing standing up now the reason i wanted it standing up is because it should decrease the temperature gradient from the top to bottom versus you know just having a, a standard ice box with uh you know everything on the bottom uh, yeah it takes up pretty much uh the entirety of the interior and you're no longer going to be able to stick uh, as much stuff in here but it's fine and also the height is just about perfect it's a little tall but no, you could still put this tray back in here and it's fine. I bought this because I really just need something to keep uh, cheese and bacon and maybe some hot dogs cold for like 24 hours or something like that. So let's load this sucker up with some cans. I'm thinking maybe four four cans. That, that should do it. That should be more than enough. I don't want to load it completely up with cans just because the more cold stuff I put in here, the more thermal mass it's going to have, the more bias the test is going to be. I just want a couple things in there. Now, something that's interesting that immediately stands out to me is this is kind of marketed to hold a bunch of cans, but if you look right here, if we take this can and we put it here, yeah, it'll hold it, but eh, you're no longer putting this in here if you double stack cans. Not a problem for me, but that is definitely worth mentioning. So let's take this sucker right here. Just to give you an idea of the uh, climate I'm in right now, it's, it's pretty mild. It's actually the middle of winter. I'm going to leave this uh, inside throughout all the testing, but you know, it's going to maintain about 70 degrees in here. I say that just to be clear, this is not going to be representative of a hotter climate, but I don't live in a hotter climate. So this is the climate I'll be testing it in. Let's take this thermometer and let's just set this sucker right down. Now, I don't want it to be right next to the ice, but mm, I guess I could flip it that way because the, uh, the airflow sensors are here and here. So we'll put it as far away from the ice as we physically can. Let's go, let's check this in an hour and uh, we'll see what it says. I'm hoping this will last 24 hours, like I said, but there's only one way to find out. It's about 68 degrees, a little after 10. We'll come back a little after 11 and we'll see what the temperature says. Just rolled in the door, it's about an hour later. Perfect timing. Check this sucker out. What do we got here? Ooh, 42 degrees, not too bad. Absolutely no condensation forming on the outside or frost or anything like that. Looking pretty good. Let's check it in another hour and see what it does. Another hour has gone by. I'm not feeling any excess cold on the outside. Well, maybe right around this area right here, there's a little bit of excess cold. It doesn't seem to be thermally leaking much. The inside here, but that is actually a little bit colder than the outside. Huh, not by much. And it warmed up quick. Let's get a good look at this. Looks like we're still sitting at around 44 degrees. Let me take this out. Absolutely no signs of thaw. Oh yeah, no, we do have signs of thawing. Look at that. It feels rock solid, but it is in fact thawing out. That's fine though. It's holding temperature. Let's come back around dinner time and we'll check it again. Just about 5.30, still around 70 degrees in here. Survey says temperature is 47 degrees. It has definitely gone up a bit in there. So has the humidity. I'm guessing we finally have some condensation now. Yes, slight condensation. We've definitely got some, some liquid in the ice pack. Still really cold, though. Plenty of ice to probably get through the night, honestly. I like the temperature. I like the amount of ice we've got. The drinks are cold. Can't ask for more than that. We'll stick this sucker back in a corner somewhere, and then we'll check it in another couple hours. Well, it's nighttime, about quarter after nine. We are currently sitting at... Uh, warmed up a little bit, but not too much. Only 48 degrees. Let's have a look at this sucker. Definitely a lot more liquid. 
I can kind of crunch it now. I don't know if you can see, there's still ice in there. I'm not sure if this is going to make it till morning. We're at what? Wow, listen to that. It's like a slushy now. I'm not sure if this is going to make it till morning. I think we're on like 11 hours, something like that. So this will definitely get you through a long day uh, of work or something, but I'm not so sure about 24 hours. Let's have one of these and crack it open. It's got a pretty good chill to it. This will be interesting to actually... Uh get a drink. I don't think I would call this straight out of the refrigerator cold, but it's pretty damn close. I'm not complaining. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty close. I, I'm interested to see what it's like in the morning at this point. I don't have high hopes, but maybe it'll surprise me. You'll have to excuse the sound of the furnace. It's cold outside, okay? You know, the furnace runs. Either way, it's the next morning, 9.51 a.m. Still not super optimistic. Although the inside of this is a little on the cool side, so that's probably a good sign. Let's just dive right in. 46, 47. Wow, the humidity's going up for sure, but okay. Not as cold as it could be, but I don't... There's still a little slush in there. Wow, not much. It's, it's mostly just liquid at this point. But, uh, <laughs> it's still cold. That's pretty cool. Let's, uh, I don't know. I mean, let's leave it a little longer and see what happens. That's a pretty good result, I guess. The tests may continue at this point, but I feel like the results are in. It's going 24 hours just like I wanted in my climate. Now, if it was a warmer climate, nah, it's probably not going to do that. Sorry, you know, if it's 100 degrees outside, you're going to have more thermal leakage. It is what it is. But on the other side of that, it's worth mentioning that, hey, if you pack this thing full... You're going to have more thermal mass. It's going to stay colder a little bit longer. Maybe offset the, the higher temperature, maybe not. I don't know. You'd have to test it in your climate for sure. But overall, it's meeting my expectations. It's a really good combination. I'm not going to complain. I don't have anything else to say. It keeps stuff cool. We're coming up on noon o'clock right now. I've decided I'm going to conclude the test when the internal temperature of the bag reaches 50 degrees, which could be right here. Moment of truth. We are still below 50. Not too bad, not too bad. Check that out. I hear ever so slightly a little bit of slush. Either way, it's holding temperature. We're gonna keep going. Get all this back in here before it loses too much. We'll check it again in a couple hours. A little after 1 p.m. And we are now over 50 degrees. And in fact, it's actually rising pretty quickly. I would say that there's no more ice in here. Yeah, that doesn't sound slushy in the least. So my goal of having a cooler that'll last for 24 hours in a you know moderate climate like this, I would say that's a success. Uh, if you're in a hotter climate, you know, you live down in Texas or something, this setup will probably get you through a full day at the very least. Definitely not as cool as the last one I had, but still perfectly acceptable to me. What are we at right now? 26, 27 hours? Something like that? I'm going to call that a win. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.